So you have students at Yale University signing a petition to <laughs> repeal the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. Remember, these students go to Yale University. These are not people trying to, like, catch up to graduate high school. These are not people trying to earn their GED. These are not even students at a community college. This is one of the biggest colleges in the country that's supposed to hold most of the smartest kids that are going to college. So you're telling me that, look, there was a video and there was a hidden camera and this is meant to be as a joke, the whole petition itself, but it was just the fact of the matter that many students were stopping to sign this petition to repeal the First Amendment. And when I'm watching this video, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, okay, wait, you can't be serious. You can't be that stupid. You can't be that dense to not know what the First Amendment stands for. Now, the First Amendment basically covers five things. It's the freedom of speech, assembly, press, religion, and even petition. <laughs> but I'm just going to touch on the freedom of speech issue because a lot of people think that freedom of speech should be just null and void because every time someone's feelings are hurt, they want to get rid of that. So in order to get rid of that, oh no, he said something to me. Oh my God, I can't believe you said that to me. They want to get rid of everyone's freedom of speech so no one can be able to say shit. So you're, you people out there that want to just get rid of that, you're proposing a dictatorship. You're proposing rights and freedoms to be taken away. How far have people come to this? How, how, how did it get to this point? I don't understand people wanting to take away rights, freedoms. I don't get it. Freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of religion. As long as the religion doesn't believe into just killing people, of any race and any gender, then fine. But, of course, in the United States of America, we have freedom of religion here. <sighs> freedom of assembly. Freedom of press. Freedom of press has even recently been challenged. On a college campus. And, and, and it was funny because during the video, the guy, you know, making a joke of the petition, he's like, everywhere, you know, it should be a safe space, a safe space, a safe space. I can't even get my wording right. Because this is so fucking stupid. The fact that even though it was worded kind of, you know, in favor of the people that were signing the petition, as soon as you say repeal the, uh, the First Amendment, hell no. People should have immediately said hell no, walked away, and moved on. For the people that signed that petition should immediately be transferred to another school. I'm sorry. You can't... I wonder if, I wonder how many people will go to other college campuses and try to do this joke. Because repealing the First Amendment is so fucking stupid. You know what that means? Okay. Internet? Gone. Cell phones? Gone. You walking down the street and be able to say hi to someone or even like, what's up? All that, gone. Meeting people online or even in person, gone. Everything will be offensive because most people will take things as offensive. Hurting someone's feelings, you can be put behind bars if freedom of speech is illegal. Think about this. Ladies and gentlemen, this Shit has to come to an end. The stupidity has to come to an end. <laughs> Motherfuckers, as long as it's not against the law and it's, not, and it's not physically hurting people, everyone should be able to do what the fuck they want to do. Everyone should be able to say what they want to say. It's up to you to get your feelings hurt. It's about self-esteem. It's called self-esteem for a reason. And taking that shit away is not going to help your self-esteem. You cannot pass in the real world if 
feelings are getting hurt just by mere words. You can't pass in the real world if you're not able to talk to someone. Freedom of speech is one of the basic freedoms of the Western civilization. And you got motherfuckers that want to sign petitions to take that away without even seriously thinking about what they're signing. That shows you how stupid many people have become over the generations. This is the generation of self-entitlement and motherfuckers trying to take half your money or at least half your money just because their feelings are hurt. These are This is the generation where, oh my God, words, oh, 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 no, words, oh. All of that shit is happening. People were getting hurt by the stupidest shit. And it's a damn shame. Just think about it. Please. This is the first amendment of the Constitution. And now you have people trying to sign petitions to get it. Even though they didn't even know it was a joke, they still signed it anyway. Knowing what the first amendment stands for, for the most part. Because everybody knows that the first amendment is freedom of speech, at least. I would like to think that everyone knows. If they didn't know, then damn, how the fuck did they get in college? Something to think about. This is the theme, and I'll see you later. Credits.